How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at something completely different. We're looking at the AI experiments with Google. So this was recently made mainstream news a few days ago, the Quick Draw program, which it gives you a drawing prompt and then you attempt to draw that. It's a bit like Pictionary if you've ever played that game. But there are other projects here that are also kind of interesting, and I'm going to go through three of them that can actually run in your browser right now. So. Let's get started with Quick Draw because that is the very popular one at the moment. So here we are, just to get started, you can click Let's Draw. Here's our first prompt, draw a pillow in under 20 seconds. So uh, you're given sort of a, a prompt here. I see leg or street light. Oh, I know, it's pillow. Oh, there we go, it guessed a pillow. Draw a hexagon in under 20 seconds. I see stitches or bench. Oh, I know. It's hexagon. It is pretty forgiving though, overall. Draw pliers. Hmm, I think I can do that. I see line or knee or rake. Oh, I know, it's pliers. Th not the best pliers, obviously. My lines are terrible. Draw a teapot. I see river or snake or t-shirt or sweater or mug. I see rhinoceros or dog. It's a teapot. I see bread see? or wine bottle. There's some steam. Or whale or toe. Wow. Sorry. I couldn't guess it. Draw a microphone. Ooh, this is a this is a tricky one. I mean, do I go for like an old I see school ocean. radio mic? Or hexagon, or door, or popsicle, or wine glass. I see floor lamp. I see water slide. That was going to be a plug. Sorry, I couldn't guess it. Probably should have gone for something a little bit more rotund. Draw a moon in under 20 seconds. Okay, well, we're going to draw a really terrible one. I see line. Oh, I know. It's moon. Four out of the six. Uh, you can share them if you're interested, or you can actually click on them to see similar ones to it. For example, it's also thought that my drawing, the closest matched was a pillow, but the second closest was the octagon. The third one was a dishwasher, actually. Now, these are all user-submitted drawings. How does it know, the program, what pillow looks like? It learned by looking at these examples drawn by other people. You get a pretty good example of some of the different ideas that come to mind when people draw pillows. And you can do that with every drawing you have. Like, for example, what did I fail on? Microphone? Let's see what some people did that they did recognize. Okay, well, that's probably not going to be the best one. Closest match, water slide. The second closest match was a shovel? Come on. And the third one is a flamingo. Apparently, it looks a lot at the lines that you actually draw. Here are some microphones. I probably should have drawn something more like that. Yeah, I was trying to go... Th for an old school microphone. You know, the kind of broadcast ones are big and square, but probably not the most relevant ones anymore. Let's try it. Let me see if I can ever get all six of them. Draw an owl. I probably have failed already. Uh, what do we want? Do we want like a little horned owl? I see line or rifle or drill or rhinoceros or drums. I see fish or raccoon. More like a vampire at this point. Or dragon or frog. Sorry. No! I couldn't guess it. Hockey puck. The problem is drawing in dimensions. I am terrible at perspective. I see potato, or circle, or bracelet, or frying pan. I see matches, or sandwich, or tennis racket. Suck it. Oh, I know. It's hockey puck. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Draw a cow in under 20 seconds. I see hockey puck, or frying pan, or aircraft carrier. I see yoga. Oh, I know. It's cow. Draw a door. Some of these shapes are simpler I see leg. than others. Or street light or square. Oh, I know, it's door. Cinturon. So we need a buckle. I see square or dishwasher or rifle or knife. I see screwdriver. It's not going to get this, is it? Or pencil or gun. Nope, okay. Oh, I know, it's belt. Oh, second time in a row. I might have actually figured out a way to break it. Draw a cloud. Oh, I know. It's cloud. Five out of six. I don't feel I actually deserved a couple of those. I mean, hockey puck is just a bunch of scribbling. And so is belt. Let's see if we can do it this time. We draw a crocodile. That's complicated. I see line or spoon or zigzag or hamburger or sandwich. I see hot dog. Oh, I know. It's crocodile. Oh, you got it. Draw a tree. I see zigzag or t-shirt or penguin. Oh, come on. Or angel. I see sandwich or spoon. Or spreadsheet. You're just messing Sorry, with me now. I couldn't guess it. Draw a potato. I see hockey puck. 
No. Or hot tub or flying saucer. It's not very easy to actually add any sort of detail. It's like it wants you to draw in vector graphics. Or bracelet. How, how do you expect me to draw a potato? Here. Here. Have a little have, have some knobs on it. No, it has knobs. See, it's it's a knobby potato. Sorry. I couldn't guess it. Paint can. I see hockey puck or table. Oh, I know. It's paint can. Yeah, you, you got it. So, out of curiosity, what did the wristwatches they want me to draw look like? They were round. So, apparently, I sort of threw... I mean, look at all these round wristwatches. Not a single one of them is actually square. So, I sort of threw it for a loop by drawing a square wristwatch, it looks like. Uh, I'm interested to know what a potato looks like because the closest match was a helicopter or a flying saucer. Yeah, I mean... I, I sort of did this. I mean, this is really subjective here. It was just badly drawn. I mean, before I made it look that bad, it should, I, I, I would have said I nailed it. You know, I, I think that, I don't think it treated me fairly on that one. So as you can see, it can be quite unpredictable, but it's still fun for about 30 minutes. Nevertheless, I want to see if I can finally get it. Draw a purse. Well, finally did that, got all six of them, so I am pretty happy. Truck, here was an interesting one because I've gotten this one wrong before. What do the other trucks look like? I would say mine is probably better than these, actually. It looks more like a pickup truck. I don't, I don't understand why sometimes it guesses pickup and sometimes it just guesses truck. Okay, so that pretty much takes care of quick draw, but there are a couple of other ones worth taking a look at. So. The next one here is bird sounds and once it loads up you'll see this entire library worth of bird sounds and you can play one just like that by clicking on it and if you want to go deaf you can just drag the mouse around i mean really this is loud but there are a lot of birds here we zoom out a bit it gives you an idea. All these are different sound files. So that should give you something of an idea of just how many different bird sounds are already in this thing. There are a lot of them. I don't know the exact number, but you can go ahead and search here in the upper left corner. Here's some popular birds, hummingbird, for example. You do that, you can see where the hummingbirds are. They don't make much noise, do they? And finally, we have go back to experiments there are a total of six experiments but not all of them can run in your browser so I was just going to also do the drum machine so let's load that up launch the experiment this will take a while to load as well I think so you have this sort of spectrum going on here it's a two-dimensional mapping of sounds that are very similar to one another so it's like an audio library that is intelligently put together based on audio signatures and what you can do here is by clicking the play button, you get some randomized loops, drum loops essentially is what they are. And you can adjust those. Okay, stop here. I grab one of these, I can adjust it and see all the sorts of different sounds that sound very similar to a, a dog barking, all these kind of scraping noises. That's what a dog barking is sort of like. You can see the map is still being populated by more audio signatures. So there is quite a bit of data here, uh, quite a bit of data that has to be downloaded to use this. And then you can also filter, like, and it just sounds like that. But you can also filter sounds. So if you wanted something a little bit more metallic, and then you can click randomize and play. We're gonna get a lot of metallic sounds. So even though this is just a cool tool, I could actually see somebody using some of these sound effects for uh, games or sound just sound effects in audio work. What else do we have? Beeping. Let's try that. Randomize it. 
a whole bunch of electronic beeping. And of course, like I pointed out, you can just grab it and drag it around yourself. But there are a lot of sounds here that you can play around with and see what you like. You can also automatically add them yourself. So in case you just wanted to have a whole bunch of blue beeping. Like that. That's pretty cool as well, I think. So that is the Infinite Drum Machine. And it has a lot of different samples from different just random things in the world. It's sort of like the bird sounds, but probably a little bit more useful. So those are three of the, um, the AI experiments with Google. Google's behind all this. And I know some people are worried that you're teaching an AI how to be evil and stuff like that. I think there are more beneficial applications for it than there would be evil. But, you know, anything really can be used for evil and using that as an excuse not to uh, advance in certain areas, I think is a little bit short-sighted. Like pretty much anything you do can be used for evil, but how many people actually do? You know, most of the stuff, most of the inventions that we have are used for good. So I, I don't find that to be a legitimate excuse to avoid engaging in some of these activities like teaching Google uh, how to draw bicycles and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you found it interesting. This might entertain you for a little bit yourself. Check it out at the very least. It's one of the more educational games. I mean, I'm going to say it's a game because Quick Draw is like a bit like Pictionary, but it is a little bit more on the educational side and you can also help uh, develop maybe your quick sketching skills, help practice drawing lines and whatnot. I know I could definitely stand to practice a bit and sort of killing two birds with one stone here. Let's hope there is no, uh, no actual birds harmed in the process though, right? So anyway, thank you very much for watching as always and I hope to see you next time.